into the book a little bit. Uh, what what are you actually arguing in in the book? What is kind of the big point of it? Well, there are two interlocking arguments. So the first one really centers on my family and other black and mixed race people who live in native nations, uh, what their life was like as slaves a little bit, but really how they experienced freedom and what that meant to them. And often that meant to them a uh, land ownership and holding on to that land. Um, for my family specifically, it meant not having rights, but still wanting to live on that land. And for other freedmen, um, it meant having rights and land and opportunities that African-Americans in the South did not have. So really this kind of different reconstruction story that looks at federal intervention in the West, in Indian territory, that has a different outcome than reconstruction in the South. The second argument is about land settlement in Indian territory, and it looks at basically different waves of settlers and makes an argument that Native people can be settlers when they move into a different space and when they use language that really positions them as more civilized and is better than other Native people and is better than people of African descent. Um, and then their former slaves who were Black and mixed race, African Americans from the South, also use these kind of similar arguments to try to claim this land and this opportunity for themselves.